If someone should ask you if you can describe your business operations in 30 seconds, can you do that? In this video of the business model canvas that I've been doing in a mini series, we are focusing on key activities. My name is Liz Feezy and I'm here to make business simple. So what are key activities in your business? If you think about key activities, you should think about how you deliver your value proposition. Whether you are having a product or you do manufacturing or you're offering a service, how do you deliver your value proposition? Are you delivering physical products? Are you manufacturing physical products? Are you coding? Are you delivering web services or coding services? Are you offering creative designs? What are the key activities that define your business, your business operations? I'm in the process of starting a print-on-demand t-shirt business with my husband and I've been using this as an example throughout my mini series. My business operations or my key activities in less than 30 seconds is doing research on the designs we want, creating the designs we want, photoshopping the designs to the point where we can print them, printing the t-shirts and shipping the t-shirts and then there's always the after-sales component. I think that was less than 30 seconds, right? But now, because some of the print-on-demand companies that I want to use have a turnaround time of six to seven days, that might impact my business because I want to have a fast turnaround time. So I might invest in a small amount of inventory that I keep at home. I'm not saying warehouses, I'm saying perhaps two of each size across the size curve. That's about 10 t-shirts in total. And maybe I don't have a hundred designs to start with, but just a couple to keep my cost minimal. But then that makes it easy for me, order the t-shirts up front, and when someone is buying them online, then I will be shipping them personally. So that adds an extra activity in my business operations to keep an inventory. But every business will have different activities depending on what you are offering and which industry you are working in and how you are reaching your customers. But just keep in mind the bottom of key activities are those operational aspects that make your business what it is, that you cannot function without. If you don't have a manufacturer, you don't have a product. If I don't have a platform, a website, an e-commerce store, then I don't have a way to sell it to my customers. So if you wanna look at business activities in that way, if you remove something, then you cannot offer your value proposition. That is a crucial part of your business activities. If I had a brick and mortar store, additional business activities would have been having buyers and planners to plan the stock that I need, buying the stock, ordering the stock, shipping the stock, delivering the stock to my warehouse, registering and carrying over the stock into my personal inventory, and then selling, which is an additional business activity. So it really depends on the industry that you're in, what your business activities will look like. Stay tuned for our upcoming video on key resources. Subscribe to get an update or leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.